In this video, we're going to take a look at how to design channel art for beauty and makeup channels. And this is coming up. This video was motivated by Iman Beauty. Her channel is about makeup, but her channel art is as simple as anything that I've, I've seen. So without any further ado, let's see how to do this. First of all, the resources will be in the link. So if you want to use any of these that I use in this video, check out the link in the description. I have the YouTube channel template that I'm going to select and bring into my Photoshop. Immediately I bring it into my Photoshop. I'm going to select my rectangle tool and then I'm going to draw a rectangle over here to cover the place that has been specified for us. So like this one. And then I'm going to make sure that I have my rulers marked to the tablet section of my Photoshop. So I'm going to just drag and drop the rulers over here and that of this place. So next I'm going to turn on my rectangle and then we are set to go. We don't want this background so let's quickly go to our resources and then I'm going to import this particular background inside of Photoshop. So it is going to take the whole of the image and then I'm going to take here to make sure it is done. Afterwards, I'm going to right click and then rasterize the layer. Go to filter and then blur and then Gaussian blur. So I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur of 45.6. Depending on the resolution that you are using, you might want to change it. So let's move on to the main design. I'm going to import my picture. First of all, I'm going to make use of this particular picture. A GH actress, a Ghanaian actress called Nanama McBrown. This video has nothing to do with her. I'm just using an image and then her name for this. It has nothing to do with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and then rasterize this. And then right click and then select create clipping mask. So basically it is going to fit straight into the rectangle that we created. So I'm going to press Ctrl T. And then I'm going to resize it like this and make sure I place it over here. So that was the extent of the ruler to make sure it does not go outside of the tablet mode. So I double click to make sure it is done. Now this picture here is not fitting with the background. The background has to be something that fits straight or that fits to that of the picture. So I'm going to make sure I select a color from the picture here. So basically I'll go from the hair somewhere around here. And this is fine for me. So I click OK and then we move on. Next, I'm going to type in my test. So I pick my test tool and then I'm going to make sure I use the font called Nexa Demo, the link to download it. Will be in the description so i'm going to type her name that is mac brown i'm going to type just one name and then the font type is light i'm not using the bold one because i don't want it to be bold and then i'm going to duplicate this and drag it over here i'm going to squeeze it out a little bit and then i'm going to type her instagram name so i am ama mac brown so that is it and then i'm going to press ctrl t to resize this again and make sure i have it over here so like this one and then i take your time to position it so i'll go back to my resources and then bring in my social media handles i'm going to paste it over here and select instagram that is the only handle that i'm adding this video is inspired by eman beauty so i'm going according to how her channel art was designed so basically i'm going to double click over here and then make sure i change the color to something white and then i press ok to make sure everything is set next the last thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to import this particular makeup kit also and then i'm going to place it over here and then i'm going to press ctrl t to transform and resize it and then i'm going to place it right there so you can make it a little bit smaller like this so i can zoom in for you to see it clearly 
now these ones are looking a bit bigger so i'm going to transform it to make it a bit small and then i position it over here so lastly i'm going to duplicate the mac brown and then i'm going to write new video every week so new video every week so for that one i'm going to make sure i use the bold one here so that you can see it very clearly and then i position it here it's too big so i press ctrl t and then i will resize it very nicely like this one so that is it we are done with the design you can edit this particular channel at any time you want all that you need to do is you go for the picture this is the picture section so you go in for your next picture say this particular picture over here and then you drag it over here so you're going to right click and then rasterize and then you right click and then you create clipping mask so it basically replaces this one and then you press ctrl t and then you can resize it to make sure it fits like this either way you can just turn off the first one that we are working on and then you have a new background you have a new set of background what you're going to do is you come to the rectangle you double click on this portion here and then you can sample a source just like i was saying a color from this particular picture so this particular color and then you click ok so you just give or you change the names like this so this lady is benedicta gaffa so i'm using benedicta and then you change her handle name also and everything remains intact so basically that is it you just pick your picture sample a color from the background and then you add your details to it so let me do the last one that is i have this picture also here is the same benedict agafa right there so you right click and then you rasterize and then you create clipping mask and then you bring it over here so you press ctrl t to resize like that and then you place it right over there now we turn this one off we go to our rectangle and then we sample a color from this particular picture so we're going for a bit yellow or let's go for something dark dark yellow like this and then you click ok so let me know in the comment section which among the three the red one the black one and this yellow was your favorite of the banners and which of the pictures were your favorite that is it basically you can employ this strategy to do same for your vlogging channel your tech channel almost every channel that you're having on youtube thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video it's innocent here bye